You probably gonna miss out on your son's birthday for your decisions, man. I mean, you, you're gonna have to change now, man. Cause how are you gonna provide for your family? What you want, what you want, what you gonna do when Sheriff John Brown come for you? Patrolling my area, it's a high foot traffic area, nighttime, everybody wanna walk in, walk in the middle of the street. As I run down the street patrolling, I noticed two subjects. I rolled down my window like, hey, y'all, come here. They stopped for a quick second. And as I got out the car, the guy took off on me. Yo, come to my hood for me, man. 238, have a black male, black shorts, running on Clay Street. Come here, I'm gonna tase you. I'm gonna tase you. I'm gonna tase you. I'm gonna tase you. You said you're gonna tase me, I stopped running. Yep, sure did. His uncle actually told him that, hey, stay in the house, or he, he went to go up the street to get some food, and he told me that, uh, man, I knew I should have just stayed in the house. I shouldn't have went anywhere. And, hey, he decided to walk in, walk in the street and caught my attention. I talked to him about not running from the police. I mean, of course, there's going to be extra charges, more money that you have to fork out and everything. And I told him I was just coming to talk him about, hey, stay out the street, you know. You got on dark clothing, you got vehicles coming up and down the street. I mean, just obey the law. I mean, if we tell you to stop, just stop. We're just here to talk to you. Every contact that I make with you is not going to be bad. I might just stop it. hey, let me talk to you, see what's going on. How are you going to provide for your family and you locked up in jail and going to prison. How, tell, tell me, how, how's that gonna happen? That's, that's why I'm, I'm proud you of can't. Go now. You can't support them in jail, man. I can tell you that firsthand. That's you can't. Why, that's, that's why I ran, sir, because I kind of felt I had a probation, you know what I'm saying, warrant on me. And, well, why and run and get, and get chumped on with more charges, man, when you just take care of that warrant? It was no drugs on him. Uh, after chasing him, I didn't see him throw anything or put anything in his mouth, anything like that. So he was just basically running for his warrants. He had three felony warrants. 